Hey, hey, ladies and gentlemen, my name is MJ, and welcome to Modded Minecraft Showcase. <laughs> it's a little dark. Hold on a second. We need to uh, we need to talk here, and let me just look over here and flip this switch. Ah, that's much better. What? What is this magic? <laughs> what is this magic of auto torch dropping? This little guy right here is right now one of my favorite things in modded Minecraft. It's the torch lighter. It's a super, super simple, very early, ga early game way of staying safe at night and making your base and your area very simple, very easy to see. <laughs> the torch light, the, the terrain lighter, um, it drops torches. And what it does is it drops torches down into a nice little grid. And as I said, it's very simple for early game stuff. Uh, I've got one set up here, right? It's three stones, two pieces of wood, some sticks, a chest, and a torch. And that's it, man. You just get it, boom, just like that. But you also are gonna need a lever. You need a lever to turn it on and stick and piece of cobble, right? We all know how to make a lever, but we almost always forget because I know I do. <laughs> and, oh, let me just turn off this rain, sorry. Doggle down the wall. The way that it works is you guys saw up there, right, what happened. And so we're gonna go over here and we're going to drop this guy, we're gonna drop this guy down and we are just gonna pick a spot. This looks good. So we plunk it down on the ground. We right click on it. Let's just drop a couple pieces of coal into it. And then we're gonna fill it up with a couple stacks of torches. Uh, we don't need this many, but I'm just, just filling it up just as a, as a whole bunch just to show it off. And then we drop down our lever and then we give it some power. Oh, hold on a second. Let's, let's make it a, uh, Let's make it nighttime again, just so that we see the full effect here. We turn it on, and it starts to drop torches. Let's check this thing out. It just, it works out in a, slowly in a ring, and as you see, so what it's doing right now, it's just working through the torches that I put into it. And so if you have a limited supply of torches, you just can put as many torches into it as you need or as you have and it will just fill up. Now I'm not sure if it's going to actually get to that or not, but if it does, oh, is it going to make one more ring? And here we go. Now watch. Boop, boop. It just... So there are some things that it can't do. <laughs> You'll notice right here this is a leaf block it can't it can't you can't you can't place a torch you can't place a torch on a leaf block um so it you know it, it couldn't it couldn't do that so that was just something that it couldn't do um but now up here it did it placed the block up on this piece of granite and on this piece of granite so it follows along with the contours of the land as long as it was possible for it to place for it to place a block and what we end up here now, if we go back down and look, right, I said we just kind of dropped a whole bunch of torches in. So it went through three and a half stacks of torches and then just the, you know, just this bit of, that little bit of coal. Now we're gonna take this, we're gonna take this out and we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna drop, we're gonna bump that, we're gonna take that and we're gonna take our stick, we're gonna take this with us. So now, if we wanted to, if we wanted to say make it bigger, then all you do is and now when I've been playing, uh, when I've been playing, I wanted things to stay in perfect alignment. Now I could just, you know what? Here we're gonna do. It. We're just gonna do this. We're just gonna drop a torch here, and it's gonna be one, two, three, four, and five. This would be the placement for it next. It's the the um, torches are every five blocks. So we're just gonna go one, two, three, and a half. Yep. All right. So that's what we Oh no, cuz it's going to be it's going to be into here as well. But 
so now it's not obviously placing double torches. It's just working through. So it's only going to end up using a portion of those portion of those torches. But as you can see, let's go ahead and make it nighttime again. I know I should make it earlier in the night, but so we're going to end up with a nice even even grid of torches here. How cool is that? Now it takes a little bit of time because it's looking back here and it's going, oh, okay, can I place a torch? 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 So it is thinking a little bit. So it's taking a little bit longer here. It's not just doing this space. Now I went ahead over in this direction. I've got another one of these grids set up and I just want to show just want to show this off. Where is my grid? There it is over there. <laughs> coming into the coming into the distance. Now I'm currently playing in the full I'm currently playing in the uh, in the full craft mod pack, but this is from the Torchmaster mod pack and it's also where the mega torch is from. So you can see that I set up here, I set up some some blocks, some wool blocks, and these are every every 10. So we've got one, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So what this ends up doing is a full set of three and a half stacks of torches gives you a 70 by 70 grid of torches. So it's real nice to work with. Now the torch master, the mega torch, also from the torch master mod kit, our mod pack, our mod, when we drop this, boom, it's a giant torch, okay, doesn't put off as much light, but this will not allow spawning of mobs for up to 65, up to 65 blocks away. So this, this torch, this mega torch, keeps your definitely is going to keep your mobs at bay as well so this is nice once you've got the materials to make this and to to set this up uh, now if you do want to light your if you are actually looking to light your um your base your your place you're working this is this is what you want to work with here as well this is a fantastic way to do it and now the mobs are already encroaching into my my lighted air my lighted area here and it's almost dawn they're all going to burn to death but the mega torch as i said is a little bit of a later game thing just because you need a lot more re you need a lot more resources for it but if we look if we pull up uh, mega torch. If we pull this up, we can see it's you need a couple diamonds, it's some wood, and you know some blocks of gold. So you're gonna need a little bit more. There's a little bit more going on with you know with this to keep that uh, to keep those to keep those mobs at at bay. But otherwise, this is it, man. This thing is absolutely fantastic. Like I said, it works over. It works over varied terrains as well. So if you do have if you do have an area that you want to light, uh, what I would kind of recommend if you could do is clear up some of your clear up some of your um, you know cut down your vegetation, break away any any leaves that are on the ground if you don't need them uh, to absolutely be there right away. You can always you know. If you want to want some leaves on the ground to cover up things, you're going to want to knock out knock out the torches later anyway, and go at it there so you can hide your hide your lighting system. But there we go. That is it, man. the 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 terrain lighter is right now one of my absolute favorite favorite things in modded Minecraft. It makes life so much easier, and especially if you're using vein miner and you're down in a cave and you're making a huge area. It's so, so cool. So there we go. If you guys have any questions, leave them below. Let me know what you think. And if you are using Terrain Lighter uh, in, uh, in your game, let me know how you're using it. That would be super, super cool. So thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, leave a like, subscribe if you have not. Get in touch on Twitter or in the comments. But as always, peace.